Hi guys, so welcome back to another video. This week I thought I'd do another um, week in outfits video because it's now May half term. I've got the week off of work um, and I'm really hoping that the weather's going to be nice so you'll be able to see all of my really lovely spring summer outfits and yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you can like and subscribe to my channel as well and I hope you enjoy my video. Okay, so I'm starting the video with this outfit here on Saturday the 28th of May. Um, it's this really little um, pink tea dress with buttons down the side. Um, and it also includes like a tie waist around the waist as well. It's really, really cute. And this dress is from River Island. Um, unfortunately, I did get it a couple of years ago, so it's fairly old now. But I'm sure you might be able to find something like this on Depop. Um, I actually bought this off of Freddie My Love on her Depop because she didn't... She didn't want it anymore and I absolutely love it. So if I come a little bit closer, I don't want you to see my bed because it's currently messy um, because the duvet cover is in the wash. But anyway, this is a really lovely little floral tea dress um, and I'm going to wear white trains with it. I've got the day today kind of doing like errands around the house. Um, I'm going to see my friend Amy because she's just had a baby um, later on in the afternoon. So I thought I'd wear this because she's... She's had a little girl, um, and then I'll spend the rest of the day kind of like um, pottering around the house and I'm going to also film a really exciting YouTube video later as well. So you probably will see this outfit in that video, although you probably would have seen it actually by now, um, because that video would go up before this one. But yeah, this is day one. I thought I'd share my lip balm lipstick um, that I'm wearing today and I wore this at the start of the video as well. I apologise for the state of my nails. Um, this is the Dior Lip Glow um, in the colour Rosewood. I really like it because it's really nice and natural. Um, I got it off of Boots with my Boots points so technically I got it for free um, because I think it retails for £29 which is ridiculous for a lip balm but it is actually really really lovely. Um, so yeah that's my lip balm choice of today. I'm also wearing this Gucci Flora, Flora um, perfume today. It, it smells beautiful. Um, I'm not usually into floral scents. It's got white gardenia. I cannot say that. Grandiflorum jasmine and pear blossom in it. Um, it smells really really lovely and the bottle really goes well with my kind of pink room, Bridgerton vibes kind of room. So that's the perfume that I've got on today. Okay, so this is my outfit for day two. It is Sunday the 29th of May. So I've got on my favourite crop top from Zara that I got off of Depop. It's white with pink floral. Um, and then I'm wearing it with, if I step back, um, blue Topshop jeans. These are in the Orson style. Uh, o R S O N, and basically they are kind of like the Jamie's, but not really because they are slightly they're not skinny at the bottom, they're more slim leg. Um, and what I like to do is I like to roll the bottoms up so it's slightly more uh cropped. Um, and they are my all time favorite blue jeans. If I'm wearing blue jeans, it's these ones. Um, I didn't pair it with my white shorts that I usually go for with this top because it's very overcast and I think I would most likely freeze. Um, so that's my outfit. Um, on a really random side note, who else finds it really satisfying when you have uh, vacuum marks on the carpet? Like, that's possibly one of my all-time favourite guilty pleasures. Um, <laughs> but anyway, this is outfit number two. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay, so day three of my Outfits of the Week video for half term, I've got on this really lovely Forever New dress. Um, it's a bit extra because I'm only going to Tesco to pick up my um, new prescription. Um, but I'm also going to um, the Vincent van Gogh exhibition in Bristol today. I'm really excited for it because the Starry Night painting is my favourite thing in the entire world. But yeah, this dress is so pretty. It's got the tears with um, lace detail down here. Um, and yeah, probably wear 
white trainers as always with it just to make it a little bit more casual um, yeah so this is outfit number three okay so I'm back from Tesco and I am absolutely in love with my new frames for my glasses um, they are kind of like champagne gold um, frames like all the way around so I'd go for something different and I am absolutely obsessed like the frames aren't round either they're kind of like hexagonal um this is the first time in my whole 12 years of wearing glasses that I actually love my glasses so I thought I'd just insert a clip here because I am obsessed Good morning everyone, um, today I'm in a slightly different outfit compared to what you're used to seeing me in. I am basically waiting around for the postman to come because I missed my delivery on Friday so I had to rearrange the delivery for today and I'm still waiting around so I can't really leave the house so I actually wanted to go on a run today um, but I can't leave the house so I've got on this really lovely quarter zip hoodie jumper thing from um, the br a brand called Manifest and it's basically a small business based in Cheltenham in the UK. Um, it's basically a friends brand so I'll link their website down below as they are also on ASOS Marketplace. Um, I absolutely love this jumper, it's very comfortable. I think it's a men's large, uh, no sorry, a men's small though, it's quite, it's quite big on me. Um, and then I've also got these pink joggers from ASOS um, on just to lounge around the house. I'll probably change into um, my Adidas gym leggings when I go on the run. But I'm just waiting around. So this is today's outfit of the day. Good morning everyone. It is the 1st of June. Wednesday the 1st of June, I can't believe it's already Wednesday of the half term. Um, for today's outfit I have got this absolutely gorgeous green, like pistachio green dress from And Other Stories. I am absolutely obsessed with this dress. Again, it's inspired by Freddie My Love um, or recommended by Freddie My Love. Um, like just look at the sleeve detail on this and um, it's got a tie waist. I accidentally broke it though. Um, because there's a string that holds up the tie waist like here broke it by accident but I just tie it like this I think it's shrunk in the wash though from the last time I wore it but I absolutely love this dress it's a size 6 um, and I got it off of Depop and then I've obviously got my pink scrunchie because I don't go anywhere without my pink scrunchie I'm also going to go out with my little Radley bag as well. Sometimes I carry the mulberry but I thought this would be easier to carry today and I'm gonna carry it on my shoulder like this. So that is my outfit for day number five I believe. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, five. Day number five. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Hello everyone. So today is Thursday the 2nd of June is actually um, the first day of the four day weekend as it's Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee so she's been on the throne for 70 years. Um, I'm spending the bank holiday just chilling at home hence this outfit here like minimum effort. Lounge joggers and then this plain grey t-shirt from Jack Wills. Um, there's not really much to say about this outfit really. Um, these joggers are slightly weird though, they're really comfy but because of the pockets the waist look more out than what they actually are but yeah this is my very lazy chilled outfit for today. Okay so today is Friday um, the 3rd of June. I've got these pink um, gym shirt leggings on, no shorts on and then this grey H&M crop top I'm gonna go on a run today it's the second day of the Queen's Jubilee bank holiday so yeah very plain outfit but 
Okay, so this is the final look for this week. Um, I have on this midi Sara dress, but I got it off of Depop. Haul coming soon. Um, and I've curled my hair today because I'm going to my friend's um, Jubilee party, as it's still um, Jubilee weekend. Um, yeah, there's nothing else more to say about this outfit. Um, I don't usually wear midi dresses, but I thought I'd go for something different today, so yeah. I'm also wearing this MAC lipstick in the shade Fanfare. It is a cream sheen formula and oh my god, when I tell you that I used to absolutely love this lipstick, you better believe me because, like, look, if I just show you oh, how much I've actually used, get rid of that. Um, yeah, there's absolutely nothing left. I love this colour. The perfume of today is this Victor and Rolf Flower Balm Nectar perfume. It's really, really nice. It's very sweet though, so if you don't like sweet smells, this one isn't for you. I love the bowl. It's so pretty. With like rose gold um, cap. Just really want to quickly show you the potential outfit I would have worn had it been a little bit warmer today. Um, so these shorts are from Abcrombie, you would have seen it in one of my hauls. Um, and then this top, it looks new, well it is new because it still has its tag on, but I bought it last year. It's from Abercrombie, no it's not, it's from And Other Stories. Um, and it's my usual puff sleeves, a bit of um, smocking at the back. It's really, really nice, but I think it would have been too cold to wear this, so I am wearing this dress instead. I've just popped on um, my glasses. The theme is red, white and blue because obviously it's the Union Jack colours, um, but I don't really own that many things that are red, so white it is. I'm gonna wear um, a denim jacket on top as well in case it gets cold, so yeah. Okay, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching if you got to this part of the video. I really enjoyed filming my um, outfits of the week during half term. I do kind of apologise if some of the outfits were a little bit more low key. Um, I usually don't bother sometimes when it's half term, I just need like a day just to chill out. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye! Hi guys, so <clears throat> apologise for ha 